Jack Huffman has already made his mark on the LCC wrestling program. Last year as a junior, he placed seventh at the state meet. And this year, the goal is to place even higher. And as I found out in this week's OIO prep profile, Jack has the right attitude to achieve that dream. It's definitely an interesting experience going through this season and knowing that uh, when it's over, it's it's all going to be over. But um, I'm just doing doing what I can to enjoy it. Um, you know, that's what that's what high school sports are about, or are for fun. And so I'm just having fun. A lot of the kids love him. They look up to him. It's a hard kid not to like. Uh, he's always positive, no matter what the aspect is, uh, whether he's winning or losing. He's always a level head and, and doesn't. Uh, doesn't get big ego or, or anything like that. This season, Jack has been training hard and trying to improve every day. Each practice and each meet is a stepping stone towards the postseason. We're just, you know, doing our best to use these tournaments as experience and get better from them. Of course, winning's fun and everyone likes winning, but it's about the sectional, the district, and the state tournament and how you can do with those. Jack is doing a little bit of everything well, uh, and that's putting in the extra work on the mat, his transitions. Um, from last year to this year, from what I'm seeing, is just he's putting in more work, not just during the 3.30 to 5.30 practice, but afterwards. He's getting more of a flow. Instead of thinking about everything, he's starting to react, and that's something we've worked on a lot this season. With his goals clearly laid out, the 195-pounder envisions closing out his LCC wrestling career at the Schottenstein Center. You know, I, I definitely want to get back to Columbus. That's, that's definitely a goal. Hope to get down there and place, too, when we get down there and get back on the podium again just because that was such a, a, a great feeling last year. It's going to mean a lot, you know, once he comes back. And, and a lot of people say there's a little bit of pressure on him, but we don't look at it that way. It's just one of those things where we got to stay focused and not get involved in all the media and the pressure and, and stuff like that and just keep working day in and day out. A fantastic student as well. Huffman is still undecided about his college plans, but he's still considering wrestling at the next level. No matter where he ends up, Jack will take with him the valuable lessons he learned on the mat. My wrestling career and all these you know, all these different people that I've met and all the different coaches that I've had, the one thing that always has been constant in all of wrestling, no matter where you are or who you're with, is to strive to be your best. And that's what I'm thankful for with wrestling is that that carries over so well to everything in life. For a 17, 18-year-old athlete like he is, uh, very smart on the mat and off the mat, he's going to be successful. It, time management something huge at a young age. If you can learn time management, you're going to be successful in life regardless. And, you know, just the characteristics that he has with that of not afraid to ask people for help if he's struggling with something. It comes from a great family and great support system. He's going to be fine no matter what he decides to do. In Lima, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.